What's up guys? So today I want to walk you through my full push workout. This is four weeks, less than one month out from my 2017 men's physique competition. So let's jump right into it. So my warm-up is usually a combination of stretching and mobility, followed by simply two to three lighter sets with about 50% of my working weight. I'm doing a lot of speed reps for explosiveness, but then I'll do an additional two, three, four super slow reps with a pause at the bottom to really stretch the target muscle group as much as possible. Starting off with the dumbbell bench press, I am changing it up a bit instead of doing the usual barbell press or incline barbell press. And I'm starting off with dumbbells to get some variety in my routine, you know, try something new, keep it exciting. And I personally do love pressing dumbbells as opposed to barbells due to the additional mobility you have with your wrists. With a barbell, you are limited to zero rotation of your wrists as you move through the pressing movement. And at the same time, you also can't bring your hands together like with dumbbells. And this is one of my absolute favorite ways to force an additional contraction during the last, you know, two, three reps to really finish off and annihilate the pecs. I actually dropped the weight from the hundreds down to the eighties for my final set to preserve workout volume and also to be a little bit on the safe side. Again, you know, I'm eating under 200 grams of carbs. I'm less than a month out from my show. To be honest, at this very moment, I am not really that focused on breaking any personal records. At the same time, if I do drop the weight a bit, but increase the number of reps performed, this keeps my total work capacity high and allows me to train safe, smart, and still well within the hypertrophy range, which is essentially my main goal. This being a push day, and although I do focus a bit more on my chest exercises, I am having some additional volume for my shoulders and triceps, starting off with the overhead press as my first and main heavy awesome deltoid exercise. So the thing is, even though I am deep into my cut and into the 170s, which for me at my height and body weight is definitely very low, I still place a huge emphasis on basic, standard, fundamental, free weight compound exercises, as I really do feel that they help maximize workout intensity, and I really feel that this helps me maintain as much size as possible during a cutting season. The thing is, no matter what you do, you are bound to lose at least some muscle when you cut down. It sucks, but it's essentially inevitable. But by maintaining Maintaining a decent level of intensity and total workout volume, you can mitigate this as much as possible. Moving on to cable flies, this is probably my favorite chest exercise of all time, especially when done with cables, primarily because if you are a douchebag and do them shirtless, like in my case, visually this exercise is ridiculous and you are able to see the stretch and contraction of every single muscle fiber in your pecs. This thing looks awesome. Also, I do love that you have full control of which segment of your pecs that you want to stimulate. Like in my case, where I am prioritizing my weak point, which is my upper pecs, my upper chest, I do this by bringing my arms together directly in front of me a little bit higher up, as opposed to a bit lower directly in front of my chest. Second deltoid exercise I am doing is lateral dumbbell raises, which is probably one of the most important exercises personally for me that I can be doing because unfortunately I naturally do not have the widest clavicles. So to increase my overall physique width in terms of my shoulders, I need to do this as much as possible to bring up my lateral deltoids. If any of you guys watching this have a similar bone structure like me in the sense that you weren't blessed with these awesome wide clavicles giving you a ridiculous two to one shoulder to waist ratio, never neglect this or any other lateral deltoid exercise and do them at least two times per week. It kind of sucks because there are some guys who are naturally born with it, but for the rest of us, we just got to work for it.
And finally guys, finishing up with tricep extensions, but a tweak I am doing is performing this exercise one arm at a time. This technically makes the exercise what we call unilateral, which is where you essentially train each side of the body individually. This is usually done with dumbbells or cables, and the benefit is that if you are unfortunate in the sense that you do have asymmetrical development, whether it be related to strength or actual muscle size, and one side is stronger than the other, let's say you have a stronger pec or you have a stronger deltoid or stronger bicep, if you're using things like barbells or big handles where both arms are working simultaneously together, it is possible for the stronger side to kind of make up for the weaker side, and this is only going to make your asymmetrical problem even worse. So the cool thing is that when you are training each side individually, it essentially takes this asymmetrical development problem out of the equation. Alright guys, so physique update. This video footage was taken about five or six days ago. At this time, in this video you guys are seeing right now, I am about four weeks out. When I'm putting up this video, I'm probably gonna be around three weeks out, three weeks and maybe like a day or two. And essentially, this is good. I still, you know, I'm almost there. I feel that in terms of this condition, I'm maybe holding about like 1% body fat or like two to three pounds of body fat higher than I was last year when I actually stepped on stage. And that's good because I've got four weeks, which means I have time to make up that difference and then some. I think I'm gonna be pretty much back to stage ready where I was last year in about one or two weeks, which means I'm gonna have an additional two weeks to push it a little bit further. If I can just get one pound of body fat less than where I was last year, maybe like half a percent to 1% body fat, uh, body fat percentage less than where I was last year, then I will be good and I'll be happy because that means that I have essentially surpassed my physique last year, both a little bit in terms of size because I do think I gain, you know, maybe as little as one to two pounds of lean body mass. And if I could also bring down one to two pounds of body fat, then in terms of overall physique composition, it will be an improvement from last year. And when you've been training as long as I have guys for well over a decade, it's these small victories. I'm never gonna come, you know, in 12 months and look drastically different than I was and be like, wow, how did you do this? No, that ship has essentially sailed. But if I can still, you know, keep making small improvements year after year, then I am happy. And I'm almost there, guys. This is good. Like vascularity is going up and down the arms. Vacuum is not bad. Overall definition is good. Six pack is pretty much there for me regardless of the lighting at all times. However, I'm, you know, this is like, this is almost there. This is like, in terms of my physique, I'm at like level nine. I just need to kick it up a little bit more in these last four weeks to take it to my personal, personal being the key word. I know it's all relative. Some people are like way higher, way lower, but for me, I know my body, I know my genetics. I'm almost at my personal, you know, level 10 out of 10. At that point, that is when my skin starts to get really thin. Vascularity is everywhere, not just you know the normal places, but it starts to go up and down the abs and everything. Um, the skin around the serratus and overall, like these minor details, not just like you know you look good on the beach lean, but like these minor details. That is when it's going to start to come in, and I'm really close to that. Like any day now. In fact, this video is about 177 and a half, 178 pounds. As I'm recording this and narrating this today, I weighed in at. I think it was 174.8, which is by far the lowest way and I've had this competition prep this entire year, like for a long time, and you know, since last year. So I am close, guys. If I can get down to about 170 pounds, 170, 171 pounds on stage, I really do feel that I'll finally bring in a better physique than I did last year. And regardless of whether I place first or 10th place, it doesn't matter. That will be an accomplishment in my personal books. And yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Hadoop!